if they'd like to travel. So zones or lanes, as they say. Uh, Northeast would be like your New York, your New Jersey's, Kentucky, Kentucky. God damn it. <clears throat> New York, New Jersey. <laughs> Welcome back. Wine, Dreams, and Wealth TV. Ooh, I can't say it. <laughs> Sorry. Wine, Dreams, and Wealth TV. I am Samile B. Thank you so much for coming, showing up, and the support has been overwhelming. I am so happy I started this channel, but let's go ahead and get into it and like the video so that other people can get this information. Let's go ahead and subscribe so that you can see my journey throughout the rest of my um, growth in business and all that good stuff. So this is wine. Oh, Lord Jesus, I need to just change the title. I just need to change the title because I can't never remember the shit. Wine, Dreams, and Well TV. This is the wine for today is actually not a wine. It is actually, um, what shall we say, uh, El Champagne, a Boulite Lamb, I should say. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So... Um, if you're new to this channel, I'm on a journey to becoming a truck driver, a freight dispatcher. So I am gathering all the information, learning everything that I can before I jump out there and be the best that I can be. Um, so no, I'm not a dispatcher. But um, in my recent videos, I have talked about starting your business the right way. I've talked about uh, business credit. I've talked about, um, excuse me, the different types of trucks and all that good stuff. And there's more to come. But today, today is the best episode of all. The paperwork, the onboarding paperwork for your driver uh, between you, the agreement between you and the driver or the carrier, uh, as, as people call it. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. I did, uh, I will share my screen with you. This is my first time, so please be easy on me in the comments. Please be easy on me. And pull up my screen. So I've kind of written some stuff down as well as um, what I will show you um, on my computer screen. So um, let's, let's get started. So the first thing that I have is your dispatcher agreement. Now, I have actually purchased paperwork from a dispatcher that um, has a channel on here as well. And it was, I believe at the time, $49.99, but don't quote me. It may be different now. And I will link his information in the description. So what you have here is a PDF that you can edit. Uh, I actually have the Google Suite. And if you have a Google Gmail, you have the Google Suite as well. So I edited through a PDF through the Google Drive. So as you can see, you have your logo that you can place here, your company email, phone number, website uh, on the first page. And then the dispatcher service agreement basically is the wording that says that you as a dispatcher is going to be the carrier's uh, point of contact, their dispatcher, find loads, all that good stuff. So this is what the first page says. It has the dispatching company and it has the um, independent owner operator, uh, MC number, DOT number. And when you are um, vetting for or finding your carrier, please make sure that those numbers are up to date. Otherwise you cannot work with them. They have to have up to date 
motor carrier numbers, DOT numbers, and insurance. That is definite, okay? Which that's common sense, of course. So this really just says that um, I will be receiving the copy of the W-9, the notice of assignment, and that's the notice of assignment is if they're using a factoring company. And what I'll do is I'll do another video, uh, probably sometime today or tomorrow about different terms that you might wanna know. Um, all billing invoices and collections of revenue from shippers, brokers, and our factoring companies are the sole responsibility of the carrier or trucking company unless your dispatch company and carrier and trucking company have agreed and agreed upon additional services provided to the carrier or trucking company by your company. So it just says that there's any other responsibilities that are needed outside of the scope between you and the carrier. This is what that paragraph basically says. Um, another big thing that you need to have in your paperwork is uh, right here. It says additionally, Carrier Trucking Company agrees to maintain general liability of $1 million. Overall, Department of Transportation, they say that you have to have $1 million in general liability. And that's actually in the Udemy course I took. And cargo insurance is $100,000. So. And then, of course, you have your dispatch company. And, and it says that, that lingo here. Um, then the statement of work, statement of work is basically what you are doing for the dispatcher. So fill out broker agreements on clients behalf, book loads on clients behalf, send rate confirmation to carrier, find freight that best matches the profile for your client. Um, upon client agreeing to load your dispatch company, ABC dispatching, will fax or email shipper broker, the client's authority, W-9 proof of insurance, order of insurance, I'm sorry, order, order insurance certificate um, if required. So later on, I'm actually going to talk about a form that will definitely be helpful when speaking to brokers, um, when, you know, getting the loads and booking the loads and things like that. Another form is the limited power of attorney. So that says that you are the point of contact uh, for your carrier. When you're booking their loads, when you're taking care of business for them, you are the person that they are speaking to. And this needs to be in the paperwork and signed, dated, all that good stuff, because you are the person that brokers and anybody else that has to do with their business is going to be the person to take care of their their needs take care of the carrier's needs so um then you have the next page the fee for dispatch and services will be eight percent per load that is i just i just threw that in there it is whatever you decide you want to make your percentage or maybe you want to just say i want to do 150 dollars off for of each load however you want to do it i'm just throwing it out there but that is um the, the fee schedule basically of your paperwork so those are the three pages and like i said i will definitely go ahead and link below the person that um i got this information from like i said i bought it so let's go ahead and move on your carrier profile this will be that right there so your carrier profile is your carrier's information for you to have address mailing address main contact office phone number emergency contact uh equipment what kind of trucks he have how many trucks does he have does he have any other owner operators under him um what else minimum rate per mile that he's willing to accept or she's willing to accept um like i said cents per mile right here uh max pickups max 
deliveries, tolls, mountains, weight limit. That's always a good thing. Maybe your driver doesn't want to go through tolls, uh, depending on, you know, who the driver is. They may not want to go through mountains, depending on who the driver is. Uh, areas of USA they'd like to travel. So zones or lanes, as they say. Uh, Northeast would be like your New York, your New Jersey, Kentucky, Kentucky. God damn it. <clears throat> New York, New Jersey, and Maine, uh, Massachusetts, Midwest, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Southeast, Florida, Georgia, uh, Louisiana, Alabama, Southwest, Texas, New Mexico, etc. West, California, Arizona, Oregon, Nevada, Idaho. So you want to know the areas that your driver wants to drive in. You don't want to pick lows that they don't want to go through. Um, and then any comments. So this is the form that your driver or carrier will fill out when they come on board with you. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, this is a credit card authorization. Now, this is just a sample. It does not have to be this. And this will go into my next video about the methods of payment that you will accept from your carrier or from the factoring company, whatever they decide to use. So <clears throat> credit card authorization is if they decide to do that with you, um they fill this out with their card information um and you charge the card at the end of the week or whenever you decide or whatever y'all agree agree on that um you want to be paid so that's what that is for um it may be a bank authorization you might pull it from the bank however you want to do it that's how you want to do it but i just wanted to bring this up because i've I saw it in my folder as part of the things that probably needs to go into your carrier onboarding profile paperwork. Uh, let's see. I keep going back. I told you I'm I'm a little nervous now. I don't know about how to be doing all this green recruiting and stuff like that. Uh, let me go here. And this was something um, that I thought was needed. Um, this is the carrier history and what it is, I'm so nosy. I need to keep my windows closed or my eyes. Sorry. Okay. So this right here has the carrier name. Like I put my name there. Of course, I'm not the carrier. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you got the MC number, you got the DOT number, uh, the W9, the NOA, Notice of Assignment, Zone Lanes, um, the Carrier Profile, Carrier Agreement, Driver Phone, Carrier Email, Factoring Company. What I saw was the person that showed me this has filled out for each carrier and he pulls this up every time he talks to a broker. So the carrier, he has his MC number, DOT, W9. Those are just, those are the things that need to be there. Um, notice of assignment. That is, I think that is probably hit or miss depending on the load, I'm, I'm assuming. Don't, don't quote me, but if you know any other information about the notice of assignment, please put it down below. Um, let's see. So the carrier profile, what I, did, what I did see is say for instance, okay, so the carrier profile if I have a profile set up for this particular person,
what I could do here is I can link the carrier packet here. So what it does is I can just click on it and click out of it. I can click on it and it'll pull up the carrier agreement. Let's just say that. So I can actually put a link there so that shows me whenever I need to pull up this information for the carrier, it'll be in this spreadsheet. I actually sell these for $15 a pop. Now look, I know what you're thinking. Girl, I can make that on my own. Yeah, I know. Some of y'all can't. So if you need one, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> my email is down below and you can send me a short email saying, hey, Samil, I like to get one of these sheets um, and I and I can send you one over. But uh, yeah, so like the carrier agreement, carrier profile, those things that have the documents, even the W-9 when you have it, you're going to make a link for it and you can put it here. And when you get ready to open up the carrier history, it'll come right on up. But the carrier history just has the things that we talked about before. And then on the right hand side, I have the pickup date, the origin, the time, the drop off date, destination, commodity, time, weight, miles, estimated date, deadhead, rate con, which is rate confirmation and bill of landing. Um, I don't know if it's bill of landing or bill of landing. Y'all forgive me. I think it's, I believe it's Bill of Ladding. B-O-L. I think it's Bill of Ladding. Y'all correct me in the comments, please. I know y'all will anyway. And then <laughs> uh, the broker info for that particular load, whatever load it was. So you got the broker name, contact person, phone, email, company, website, load board. And this form is really good for any of your carriers that need to come back and ask you about load that they had that they wasn't too sure about or needed information about. So I think this is something that you should always keep. Um, and I think another thing is that you can add on here is maintenance schedule. I was thinking, because that's information that you probably want to help keep up with your driver is, you know, maintenance schedule. Let him know, hey, you're due for this or, hey, your um, insurance is getting ready to expire or your DOT number, you need to research for that. So those things, I believe, are part of your duties as a dispatcher. And I know that your carrier would definitely appreciate those things as well. Um, that is all for the day, I think. Certificate of insurance, make sure you have that paperwork as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but make sure you have the certificate of insurance in their paperwork file. Uh, we already said the W-9 to make sure they have that. And... That's really it for right now that I'm thinking of. And this is just your onboarding paperwork. So you'll get more paperwork once you start working with the brokers and they're sending you over rate cons or rate confirmation uh, and those things that you'll be able to put in their file as well. So always keep your driver information separate from other drivers. Have a different folder for them so you can be organized. But other than that, I'm going to sit here and finish drinking my wine and getting my paperwork together and then find out how they need to pay me when I get, when I finally get a carrier. So y'all have a good day. Bye.